the only substance found on the planet whose chemical composition is very close to that of human blood. If it consumed raw, it has one kind of impact. If it is consumed in cold water, it has another kind of impact. Keeping the blood chemistry in a certain balance, keeping the blood pure will definitely happen. Wonderful diet for children in terms of enhancing their intellectual capabilities. In Karnataka, there are certain tribes called Jainukurubas. Jainukurubas means they're honey shepherds. Some time ago, I had the opportunity to live with them for a short while. Their diet is like this. First thing in the morning, one bamboo glass, you know, bamboo shoots sliced off like this. It takes about three-fourths of a liter, three-fourths of a liter of honey in the morning. That's all the diet. You drink three-fourths of a liter of honey in the morning and then you're out in the forest. In a day, easily you walk thirty to forty kilometers and you climb a minimum of fifty trees and get off up and down, up and down the trees. Until evening, there is no… nothing else. If you… as you harvest honey, whatever comes on your hand, you lick that. So in a day, almost more than a liter, liter and a half honey you're taking in. When you come back in the evening, there is some cereal, usually it's called jola, that's javar or… you know, it's like maize. Maize or ragi or something like this. Their main staple diet is honey. And uh, you drink this three-fourths of a liter of honey and whole day you are so active, but there is no hunger, you are just fired up like that. They live on this, they are called honey shepherds. Their diet is honey. Honey is one of the best things that you can consume. Psychological stability, physical well-being, vitality, all these things can be greatly enhanced simply consuming daily honey. Honey is the only substance found on the planet whose chemical composition is very close to that of human blood. If you change a few things, it's almost like blood. Daily consumption of honey can do a lot for your health, especially people who have excess mucus problems. It's very good for your heart, it's good for your brains, it keeps your mind alert and it's highly energetic. So daily consumption of honey can do a lot, especially if you have growing children. They must consume honey on a daily basis. It'll do a lot for the development of their intelligence and everything, even the ash god. Ash god and honey together will make a wonderful diet for children in terms of enhancing their intellectual capabilities. If you cook honey, it'll become poisonous. Honey should not be cooked. I know people are baking it, cooking it in cakes and other things, it's not a good thing to do. Certain part of the honey tends… turns poisonous if you cook it. You should put it in warm water, not in boiling hot water. If you put it in hot water, it sets off a certain kind of enzymes, behave in a certain way in the honey that it tends to take away weight from the body. If you put it in cold water, it behaves in a different way and accordingly it adds weight to the body. It is not that a, a few spoons of honey that you are taking is putting weight to your body. It is just that it sets off a certain reaction in your system that your absorption rate is such that you tend to gain weight. So honey, it has different types of impacts on the system. If it consumed raw, it has one kind of impact. If it is consumed in cold water, it has another kind of impact. If it is consumed in warm water, it's a different kind of impact. We want to consume it in warm water here because we want the system to open up. If you want to integrate the system just for health, somebody is feeling uh, what, anemic, somebody… Anemi anemia means on one level the blood has lost its iron, that means you lost your steel, okay? <laughs> you lost the strength in the body, 
you'll feel exhausted, simply exhausted for nothing. Because once the necessary iron is not there, your ability to carry oxygen through the body is less. That means your body, your heart, your brain, everything will be on a lower level of function because you don't have enough oxygen. So, uh, to take care of this, one of the simple things is you consume a little bit of honey in warm water on a daily basis and uh, you will see slowly the RBC content will go up. If there's more oxygen in the blood, suddenly you feel a burst of energy, suddenly everything is active, the rejuvenation system in the body is going up, the dead cells are being replaced quickly. The level of inertia that you feel in the body is much lower, the level of inertia that you feel in your mind is much lower. So consuming honey will bring a certain balance to the circulatory system, which is very, very essential for a yoga practitioner because you're doing… you're pushing the body in certain ways. So keeping the blood chemistry in a certain balance, keeping the blood pure will definitely happen with a regular consumption of honey and it's very necessary for someone who practices yoga. And turmeric also does similar things, it purifies the blood and it brings a certain translucence to your energies. Turmeric is one substance which not only works on the physiology, it also works on the energy system and it is… it is also true with honey that it also has impact on your energy system. Honey makes you more vibrant. Turmeric kind of calms you and keeps you easy. Morning you are having a little bit of honey, neem and turmeric. So consumption of uh, neem and turmeric with a mildly laced honey water. It should be very mild. Mildly laced honey water together acts as a wonderful way of cleansing the system, dilating the system that when you do sadhana, one thing it brings flexibility to the muscles, another thing is because the dilation brings flexibility to the muscle and that flexibility as a consequence becomes a way that you slowly build the system into a more powerful possibility. If you want to bring a new level of flexibility, one thing is, lot of toxicity has to go from the system. If you just go on water diet or honey and water diet, which will keep you energetic enough, if you are not already bone thin, if you can afford to use a little bit of weight, if you put honey, you won't lose weight also. If you add enough honey or you take spoonfuls of honey, you won't lose weight. If you do this for seven, eight days, the amount of toxicity that you expel from the body is tremendous. If you do this, then you see suddenly you find your body is so much more flexible. Just experiment, don't believe all this. So, honey plays an important role. People who are doing yogic practice, it is good to consume honey.